and I've been here for a couple of weeks and I've been sailing around <clears throat> but I was waiting for a good day to go down the river the St. Lawrence River the current here is up to six knots depending on the tide so I'll really have to time myself and I'm expecting to go backwards <laughs> a couple of times that's for sure so beautiful day not much wind but hopefully I can make a little bit of progress today I'm gonna try to make it to Capo's wet today. That's the goal. And my parents have a chalet there, a really nice place. And I spent my youth there. So I know that little beach I wanna go to and uh, hopefully that's gonna work. But it's gonna be a little bit of logistics around, timing, tide and stuff like that. Ah, sailing in Quebec City. Chateau Frontenac, really nice place. And uh, so on my way to Capozoa and uh, I don't know I'm going pretty slow but I got a little breeze now so hopefully that's gonna stay like this. It's supposed to be more windy this afternoon so with the day should increase so that's that's good because right now it's like barely enough and screecher is up. Lots of traffic on the St. Lawrence River. That, of course, feeds the Great Lakes. So there's like a boat every half an hour or so. So I gotta watch for that. So the wind shifted north, which is good. We're at the end of Ile d'Orléans, so there's another channel there, and I think it brings some uh, air at another angle, and that's what I'm hitting. Make some uh, sail adjustment, we should cruise. For a second, I thought those two were boats, lighthouses. I didn't know there were lighthouses here. I mean, they like that right here. So beautiful. I'm still behind schedule even though we're doing nine, eight, nine knots, ten knots sometimes. But it's just beautiful. The wind completely shifted. 180. Motor sailing. I normally avoid uh, the engine, but here uh, because timing is important with uh, the current, the tides. So I decided to turn on the outboard. And I think these mountains here screw up the wind a little bit so uh, I mean it pretty much no wind right now but it's supposed to come from the south so that's not at all what's happening here but it's nice this is a completely different perspective to what I'm used to I mean I've done the road behind these mountains like a gazillion times I've never seen this area from the St. Lawrence River really Looks wild. There's nothing. No, no houses. No roads. Nothing. So Ilo Kudre is back there. At this speed, I should get there 5:30. I don't know what the current's gonna be. I think I'm gonna be against the current. We'll see. This is way different than Florida. Florida is simple. You know, the wind doesn't change much. There's basically no current here. It's like you have to deal with everything. I don't know if you see the buoy there, but there's still quite a lot of current, so good for us. So I should make it to Capozoa around around 7-ish. Depends on the current, maybe later, but high tide is at 10, just past 10. So I'm hoping I can... Uh, I will have to wait till then to beach the boat. Beach the boat at high tide. And completely against the wind. I was not expecting that today. Okay. Uh, approaching Ilo Coudre. Capozo is just behind there, maybe an hour from there. Um, current switch, so I'm, I'm, I'm up current right now, but I think just across this point here from, from the software, it goes down. So this is like a basin, so it should go well. Over there, there were too much current, so I came, I, I came to this side, it's much better. 
still on the engine, but we have a little bit of wind. Maybe we'll be doing some sailing soon. This is Bay Saint Paul with the Parc des Grands Jardins. And then uh, there is a little bit of rain in Capozois, but that's I'm not worried about that. the point there we're gliding well a good six knots on the sail which is nice something loading okay two more hours for high tide Pretty set up. I'm gonna hike to the chalet. Ah. Okay. 
not too far from the rocks. Should be good. So I put that when I arrived. Little stick. Put another one there. Okay. I know my way here because I spent my younger days here. Little kid. I played here and in those forests. This sign was useful for me. It was reflecting my flashlight, so when I came in, I kind of, kind of gave me some bearing. And the lighthouse is there. done this trail this hike many many times I'm making noise because there's bears here with my light they should move over here we are <laughs> super <sighs> That's a nice chalet with the view of the St. Lawrence River.